Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. For this week's video, I want to show you how you can easily edit a Milky Way photo inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So to get started with our Milky Way shot, I'm actually not going to modify anything inside of my Develop tab here. There's a few different things I want to take care of first. And the first item on the list is to bring life into my stars. Well, an easy way to bring life to your stars is to use a tone curve. So first, we're going to head into our Effects tab we're going to add a filter, and we'll add our Curves filter. And inside our Tone Curve, we're going to use this to create contrast and then pull up on our highlights and midtones to bring out all of the light in these stars. So an easy way to bring life into your stars is to go down to the bottom left area of your Tone Curve near your black point. And I'm just going to go up a little bit to the right. I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag down to add in some contrast to my shot. Now I'm going to head up to my mid-tone area, I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag it up. Notice how that brings a lot of life and contrast into my stars. Well, I only want this applied to my sky area because it's darkening up this area on my foreground. So I'm going to grab my masking bug by hitting M on my keyboard. I'm going to head up to my tool modifier bar, and I'll make sure my preset is set to linear bottom. So now when I drop this down below my sky, it's only being applied to the sky area and not my water down here. So now that we've modified our sky area with the stars, we need to bring a little bit more life into our foreground. So let's go into our local adjustments tab. And with my new local adjustment layer, I'm gonna use the preset style reveal shadows and I'm gonna hold down Shift and hit K on my keyboard to grab my adjustable gradient. But this time, I'm gonna head up to my preset and I'm gonna choose Linear Top. That way, I can drop this down on my horizon line and now it's only being applied to my foreground area. And I'm just gonna feather it quite a bit to blend it in with the other adjustments. Now I can head over to that adjustment, and I can pull back on the opacity to make it look more natural. So now that we've modified our sky and our foreground, now we can head into our Develop tab here. And the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down to my whites, and I'm gonna pull them up to bring a little bit more white into the stars. Then to finish the photo off, I'm just gonna head down to my temperature slider and I'll pull back on it to bring in a little bit more cool temperature. So now if we hit the backslash key in our keyboard, we've done a good job of bringing out all of the light in those stars and really giving this Milky Way photo a boost. 